In this video, we will learn how to create holes in objects, which can later be filled in. You can create holes in closed objects with a single angle. Add holes can only be used with objects created with the closed object tool, which is one of the digitizing tools that you'll learn about later. I've drawn a rectangle, and now we're going to add holes to the rectangle. To add a hole, first select the object, go to the Edit Toolbox, and up at the top, you'll see Add Holes. Holes are added with left and right clicks. A left click will create a point, while a right click creates a curve. After making at least three clicks, press Enter to activate the shape that will be used to cut the object. If you need to make a second hole, again, use at least three clicks and press Enter. When you are ready to create the holes, simply press Enter again, and that will generate the holes. Holes can be filled in as well. To fill the object, first select the object, and then select Fill Holes. A dialog box opens so that you can choose the amount of underlap for the object. The default is 0 0.039 inches. A positive overlap is necessary to avoid gaps in the design when stitching on fabric. If you wish for the edges to just meet, you can change the value to zero. We're going to leave this with a slight overlap. If you want to have a gap in your hole, then you'll enter a negative offset. When you select OK, this will fill the holes with the same type of fill and the same color. The holes can be edited by selecting the hole and choosing a contrast color. You can also make changes to the type of stitch that fills in the hole. Now you'll notice that the software places the holes on top of the object. If you wanted them underneath the object, while they are both selected, you can click on Move to Start in Color Film, and then the holes will stitch first. If you wish to remove the holes from the object, select the object and click on Remove Holes. Notice that the software at this point doesn't remove the change filled holes. You would need to select those in color film with the control key and then press delete on your keyboard. 